What's going on, man? Back at it again. What's going on, man? Second, uh, second video, second whatever you want to call it. Uh, just like I said, um, just, just, just want to just throw some stuff out there, put some videos out there. And this week, we are highlighting, spotlighting, highlighting uh, how how a football team, how a Bison football team, HBCU, the Mecca, the Holy Mecca, whatever you you know, all the great names of Howard. Like I said, I'm a former alumni. I got my found my old Howard shirt, and I just highlighting Howard this episode. So this episode we just really uh, spotlight some of the some of the players from this past season. Um, talk about Coach Larry Scott, things like that. But before we get into it, I want to say shout out to my guy Aaron Walker. He played DB when I was there. He was a freshman my senior year. Um, he was number twenty seven um, from DC. You know, y'all know I'm from Baltimore. He's from DC. That was that was my little man right there. Him and Ty Free, Ty Free at William and Mary right now, coming up on his last season. So check him out too. But yeah, I want to give a shout out my man A Dub, A Walk, A Dub, A Walk played in the HBCU Legacy Bowl, man. Um, that was big time. I feel like should have got more uh, recognition. Um, that's so that's that's you know we gotta do better on our part as alumni. But I feel like should have got you know he should got a little bit more. But yeah, made me to the HBCU Legacy Bowl. So shout out to my man A Walk. I want to give a shout out to Antoine Bethea, the great Howard DB, um, probably the only player that the average person might know from Howard that made it to the league on a, on a big scale. I played, I think he played, four, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he played like 14 seasons. Um, he had just started a scholarship fund. I just saw it right here in the, in the Howard, uh, Howard magazine I got this morning. It's in there. I lost the page, but yeah, he started. He started. Oh, here you go. Gave a scholarship fund to um, uh, to Miss Morgan Moore. So shout out to Antoine Bethea. Is in here. Let me see. Is in here. Shout out to Antoine Bethea, man. Great, you know, uh, Howard legend, HBCU legend. Put Howard on the map before you know he was before his time. But yeah, man. So today I just want to say highlight some of the uh, you know, y'all know it's upcoming. Spring ball right now. Right now it's uh yeah, it's March so spring spring game should be coming up real soon. Gotta get the date on that. Gotta talk to my man Pee Wee, Coach Pee Wee Pee Wee Johnson down there. But yeah, man, I'm look I'm looking at my computer right now. So yeah, right now first I'm gonna shout out to Coach Larry Scott here, Coach Larry Scott, man. This was his first fall season because he came in during the pandemic and he and if anybody followed college football, they had that spring that spring season, so that kind of was like his warm-up season that didn't count against him. So this past football season was um, his first full season. And it was it was up and down, it was rough. But if you actually watch some of the games, a lot of the games, how it was uh, how it was in, um, was was in pretty close games. Uh, they finished three and eight. But like I said, they was they was in a couple back and forth games, like Hampton, third game, third game of the season. It was 48-32. I went to that game. It was actually closer than that. Happened to score that the towards the end kind of took off on him. Um, lost to Robert Morris 22-16. Uh, beat Seiko Hart. Beat Morgan 27-0. Lost to Norfolk 45-31. Um, lost, lost to Dallas State 23-30. South Carolina State 12-15. Uh, lost to Central 45-27. That was a big loss, but... Central's been on, on top of the MEAC since since forever, um, since my sophomore year. So Central's been on top of that. But, yeah, so, and to give Coach Larry Scott the benefit of the doubt in the team, this is, if if he was a junior the team, this was your third, her, third head coach in three years. So, man, we just want to say just keep supporting Coach Larry Scott and the Bison, man, give them their support. Uh, I know fans don't really care about the specifics of football, but if you had three head coaches in three years, it's going it's going to be tough. You got three different schemes, and you got I can get into detail later. But yeah, man, so we want to support Coach Larry Scott and the Bison man this year. Um, so yeah, so and Coach Larry Scott used to coach at and attended USF down in Tampa, the um, USF Bulls. They will be playing USF September tenth, twenty twenty two in Tampa. Uh, so former Howard alum. Current Howard people, if you can make it to Tampa, uh, support them guys. I know I'm most likely I'm gonna try to get down there. I gotta just see how my schedule looks, but I'm gonna try to make it down there. 
Um, Tampa is not an expensive flight. I just flew to Tampa last minute in January. I flew down and was Spirit came back Southwest. Spirit flight was probably like sixty last minute, and I booked that thing like three weeks before, and it was sixty dollars last minute. So if you get ahead of time, Southwest, any any if you want to if you want to make it a quick day and a half trip, fly down for the game, and either fly back that same day or fly back the next morning. Spirit Frontier is real quick. It's an hour and a half, maybe hour forty, depending on how the pilot drive flying. Um. Yeah, it's an hour and a half, hour 40 flight, man. It's, like I said, it was $60 one way, and I booked that thing three weeks before I went. I had flew back Southwest, though, so I got to keep you know, I gotta keep my Southwest points up. But, yeah, man, if you can make it, like I said, I'm going to try to make it definitely. Fly down to Tampa, man. It's not that expensive. Like I said, I flew from Baltimore. That was an hour and a 40, hour 40 minute flight, so that ain't enough. But, yeah, man, so support Coach Larry Scott. And right now, I really just want to highlight, um, right now, I just want to highlight some of the players, man. Want well, highlight uh highlight of course the starting QB support the starting uh QB Quentin Williams man he's number one this year last year he was number six um like I said new system you could tell you could tell that he was getting used to the system man uh he had uh twenty three yeah twenty three hundred passing yards sixteen TDs man seven interceptions. And I went, I went through his individual games. Yeah, he actually had a he had a lot of decent games. Um, and Howard this year was a balanced team on offense. You could tell by watching. It was a balanced team, man. Like I said, 226 versus Rich, Richmond. Maryland was 67. That's out of conference. Hampton was, three, Hampton was 357. Uh, Robert Morris was 254. Morgan State was 337. Dell State was 205. Northrop was 170. Um, South Carolina State, that kind of messed him up. I, I'm assuming he got hurt. They got confirmed that because he only was 5 of 9 for 38. So I'm assuming he got hurt that game. And the last game of the season, uh, Century 3 for 338. So you could tell that he was getting, uh, he was definitely, uh, as a first year in this new system, definitely was comfortable, man. Um, and like I said, Howard was a balanced team. So yeah, we want to shout out to QB Quentin Williams. Uh, on the, in the backfield, you got you got you got you got uh, Deuce Deuce, you got Deuce Deuce Jared Hunter man. He had uh, six twenty five on the year, three TDs. You had uh, uh, I think he was a walk on my guy I um uh, Ian Wheeler number thirty seven. Yeah, eight games. He had four sixty. Yeah, eight TDs. I seen him homecoming man. He took off homecoming. Homecomers won his breakout games, man. I saw that game. I definitely was watching him. Uh, uh, Ian Wheeler, man, he was definitely doing this thing. I definitely saw that hot, uh, homecoming game. He was doing this thing. So he had 460. I mean, 460. So he lost 70. So 443, 620. So Jared had 625 and had 443, man. So like I said, how was a balanced team? You got two running backs putting up putting up some nice digits. And like I said, in the new system, they figuring things out. Um. Uh, let's go to the. Let's go to the. Let's go to the. Oh, receiving my guy Antoine Murray. He was there when I was there too. My last year, he was a. Uh, I think a freshman. Yeah, yeah. So he had to be a freshman because he's still there. He had a Howard year. So um. Yeah. So Antoine Murray, my guy, six twenty nine on the year on the season, seven TDs. Like I said, Howard was balanced. So those that that number is not is not really is not really that bad. Um, second receiver was Casey Hawthorne, number three. He had 447. You feel me? So, and then you got three guys in the 200s after that. Um, so, how, like I said, how was a very, very balanced team last year, man? So, hopefully this year they're going to ramp it up. The numbers going to be way better than I'm, 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 I'm praying and hoping that it is because they were, this will be their second year with uh, Coach, Coach Scott. So, they should know the system and things should be flowing just like that, man. So, we, we, we definitely rooting for them boys this year. Uh, defensively, defensively you got a couple guys. Uh, like I said, def uh, how was really how uh, how a team was ran by juniors and sophomores last year. And like I said, if you're a junior, you had three coaches, man, in, in three years. That's tough. You can't. It's hard to be a football player when your coaching staff is changing every every year. Like that's crazy. So we want, like I said, A Dub was was um, a premier player last year. Shout out to A Dub. I'm gonna get a shout out to Young Boy. I didn't even I ain't know this. 
Uh, Kenny Gallo, number 14, six foot two five, Nice, solid DB. Let the team last year. 75 tackles, man. No interceptions. Howard didn't really have that much. That, they didn't really have that many interceptions last year. So, um, but yeah, 75 total tackles, man. 45 solo, 30 assists. So, shout out to 14, Kenny Gallo. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't when you see that. My guy, Ray Williams. He, uh, he from Michigan. He from the school my man Pee Wee from. He had 52 on the year, 52 total tackles. That's big. That's eight. Yeah, you're a big boy too. Yo, 5'10", 183, solid. So I saw him on the field, solid, real cut up. Um, Christian Wright, Christian, Christian Wright, my bad, 2'5", man. Putting on for the 25, y'all see the 2'5 in the background. Putting on, putting on, he from the V, he from VA, from VA, from VA. My bad, my bad, stutter. But he's, he had 47, he had 47 tackles. Like I said, new system figuring out. So hopefully all these stats are going to go up next year. Second year, second year with the second year with the with, with with Scott in the system, so hopefully that that thing pick up next year. And he was a junior, so he's gonna be a senior next year. So you, I think he got, he got COVID year too, so he might have two years left. He might have two years left. Don't don't question. Don't. Oh yeah, number three, big big fella, big fella in the DM, my man, Darian uh, Brokenberg, big fella. Man, he was uh, I did see him against Maryland. He did stand out a little bit. Uh, he did stand out there, people. Nice size, nice, nice edge rusher. Uh, it's not loaded right now. I can't give his uh, attributes. Yeah, it ain't loading. Oh, what's going on? But yeah, man. So you got Darian Brooklyn, big fella in the DN. Yeah, two, yeah, three and a half sacks. And yeah, so uh, I just want to give a shout out and shout out to them boys, man. This year, we def I'm definitely going to be supporting Howard more, especially while my guy there, Pee Wee, still there. Like I said, alumni, please support Howard, man. Please give, give them everything they need, man. Support them. Support the young boys. They just they just want support. And uh, so the best thing we could do is Howard alum. Go, go see them boys. Don't care what the record is. Go to as much as much games as possible. If you know, we, we know how schedules our life, life is. If you can catch some away games, because that's closer to your home, try to catch some away games, man. Just... Support them boys, shout them boys out, post them on IG, Twitter, Facebook. I know the old heads on Facebook, post them on Facebook, post them on IG, Twitter, all that stuff. So, so please support Coach Larry Scott, support uh, all the young young fellas, man. And um, I'm going to try to make it to the spring game this year. Hopefully it falls on the weekend that I can make it. Uh, so, yeah, support the, support the fellas, man, support the team. Shout out to the HU, shout out to Bison. We looking for big things this year from them boys. Like I said, it was three and eight last year with the new head coach. Hopefully this year they can turn it around and lead the MIAC and be in the be in the um the, the bowl game that's down in Atlanta. And hopefully that's gonna be us this year, this upcoming season, man. So yeah, man. Shout out to Howard, shout out to Bison. Support y'all, love y'all boys, man. See y'all next time.